Even as a child, Sidin Luk was interested in how diseases actually function. I was sick when I was a child, uh, and I never knew why I was sick uh, or why people got diseases in general. So that was the driving force to why I uh, wanted to become a medical doctor. Today, this curiosity has taken her on a journey over the entire world and into the innermost part of our blood to reveal some of the body's most well-kept secrets. Your body has about five liters of blood, which is constantly moving through your veins and arteries. Your blood is your largest organ if you go by cell count, which transports oxygen and other vital substances to every corner of your body. But blood cells wouldn't exist without stem cells. Stem cells are found in bone marrow. These are what make and maintain the blood. When these blood stem cells start to malfunction, it can lead to life-threatening diseases. Leukemia, anemia, and hemophilia. All of these are diseases that can be cured if researchers like Sidin Luk can reveal the secrets within blood stem cells. But this is no easy task, because in many ways, blood stem cells are completely uncharted territory. Here awaits the unknown, and with it, the possibility of entirely new discoveries. The biggest challenge is not to know if the experiments that you're doing are going to lead you to the answer to the question. But that is also the most um, fun part of the research, is that you never know where you end up. Sidin's parents came to Sweden in the 1970s as boat refugees from Vietnam. Sidin was born in Katrina Holm, but later they moved to Bue in Skåne. Sometime later in the 1990s, when she was in high school, the newspaper Expressen came to her school and asked her class what they wanted to work with in the future. I don't exactly remember that I uh, responded like this, but I do remember that I always wanted to become a medical doctor. After graduation, Sidin Luk studies biomedicine at Lund University. Here began a journey that would take her both to Oxford in England and Harvard in the United States, which led her to the blood stem cells. The blood stem cells inside the bone marrow take care of the production of all the cells of the blood. And because new blood cells are produced daily, stem cells have an important job. For a long time, it was thought that all stem cells perform the same tasks. But some years ago, a discovery was made that there are, in fact, different types of blood stem cells. Why there are different types and what their different tasks are, nobody knows yet. So the first time I read about the different types of blood stem cells, I found it very exciting. Uh, but I also found it very interesting, actually, that no one knew why we had these different types of blood stem cells. Um, so I was very curious, actually, to answer these questions. Yeah. Curiosity made it so that Sidin Luk eventually had the opportunity to start her own lab here at the Karolinska Institute in Huddinge, where her journey into the unknown continues. What we primarily want to know about these different types of blood stem cells is why we have them, and also what kind of properties they have, as well as how they are regulated. But it is not an easy job to work with blood stem cells because they are so few and so small. Sidin Luk's group uses blood stem cells from mice. They isolate the cells by separating bone marrow into a solution. Then they color the stem cells to be able to follow their development when producing other cells. The cells are also analyzed with what is called flow cytometry, where different combinations of stem cells are followed. There, Sidin Luk's team can also sort out the stem cells from other cells. We have fired in with antibodies that are against this protein and this protein, and we see that they express the both proteins. We analyze them, uh, for example, with flow cytometry instruments, where we can look at the properties of these stem cells as well as uh, what kind of mature blood cells they have produced. 
Previously, other researchers have discovered that there are four groups of blood stem cells. But Sidin Luke's group has now discovered that there are additional types within one of the stem cell groups. What we have found is that within uh, one of these stem cell groups is that there are more subtypes um, that uh, can be discovered. So we don't really know why this is the case. Uh, so our goal is to find out um, why we even have all of these blood stem cell types. Our blood stem cells are still largely a mystery. But with new knowledge comes new opportunities. Because one day when scientists understand exactly which types exist and exactly what they do, it can improve and lead to completely new treatments where the right blood stem cell is used in treatments, for example, for hemophilia, anemia, and leukemia. The big dream is to be able to use the knowledge that we get from our research projects uh, to be applied in the treatments for patients with different types of blood diseases.